Okay, hey guys, it's Martin from How to Make Mobile Games on October the 30th, 2014. Probably I look really messy right now. I was just wearing my hat a minute ago and I need to get my hair cut because I hate trying to style my hair and I just like short hair, therefore it's nice and easy. But So that's why I'm kind of looking messy right now. Sorry about that. But anyway, this video is about uh, paid advertising in mobile games. So as a lot of you know on the channel, a way to get download for, downloads for your mobile games is is by paying for downloads, uh, sometimes called CPI, cost per install. Uh, you can also do CPC, cost per click, when you pay when a user clicks. Uh, you can also do CPM, which is a little bit older, I think, uh, and that's cost per impression, which is you pay for every thousand ads that uh, of your game that appear in other games. So, uh, But recently we've been doing some of this um, child boost advertising, and we've been doing this for a few months now. Um, I just wanted to share this because this is the first time I've really spoken about this. Uh, we had this spike. So in Chart Boost, this is the advertising tab here, okay? Uh, this is how much money you made. This is the advertising, how much you spent. Um, and yesterday, we had a spike. So I thought it would be an interesting time to talk about this on a video. So yesterday, we spent $19 on downloads. Not a lot at all. It's very small potatoes compared to big publishers. Very, very small. Uh, $5.75 we spent there, $11 there, $4 here. I don't know why we had this spike here because here, this new spike on the 29th, uh, I increased the CPI, the cost per install, and I'll show you that in a moment. And that's why we got this spike here because we're getting more impressions, because we're paying more for the installs. This spike here, I don't know why. It might be because of the end of the month and other advertisers are not competing as much because it's they've used up their budget and they're going to pay more once it ticks over into November. Uh, but here's really low. This is really, really low on Chart Boost. Uh, we didn't spend anything there. That was zero. I'm going to have to look at my screen, guys, because I can't see clearly. That's uh, okay. One dollar for one install, 75 cents for one install, zero, two dollars for two installs, one dollar for two installs, one dollar, one dollar. Very, very low. So that's not going to drive us up the charts at all. Uh, a lot of you know, if you're in the app stores for a couple of years, is the way to reach the top ranks is to get downloads and getting paid installs is, is, a, is a way to do that. But at this, you know, here's five. So on average here, we're about two installs a day. Not going to do very much. The games that we're advertising right now through this are our Pocket Poker game on Amazon. Uh, in the US and UK, and also Pop the Fruit 2 in the UK. And we also started a, a child boost campaign for Pocket Poker in Australia as well, since we saw the ARPU was pretty high. So let's go to the details page here. I pulled this up before and I'm gonna refresh it. And this is, this is more of a, this video is more of a, I guess a higher level video, probably for those of you guys who might have been uh, might be doing slightly larger games or have been in the industry for a couple of years and maybe you're doing paid advertising. Uh, this really isn't for someone who's perhaps just coming into the industry because, you know, doing paid advertising is not advanced, but it's, it's if you've got a great game on your hands or you've been in it for a few years, that might be why you're doing paid advertising. So anyway, there's our game, Pocket Poker, and I think I'm... I'll highlight the US one first. So this is the Amazon App Store. And let me just go down and find it and find the campaign, which is the name of the uh, advertising campaign. So Amazon US, there we go. Uh, we'll do the date range as the past 30 days and we'll refresh this and we'll get some data. So uh, let's just give you a quick overview. So here yesterday we had 15 installs, okay? Uh, but below here, you can see 1, 6, 10, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 6, 3. So pretty low. But we had a jump here the past couple of days. The reason is here is because now for this, we're paying $1 for one install. Okay. Here, we were paying $0.50 cents for one install. This is why it's increased. This is how paid advertising works on a lot of networks. The more that you pay... Okay, the more impressions you get, that's the more ads that appear for your game in other games. Now you can see here I increased the CPI, the cost per install to $1, and it jumps from 3,000 a day, 4,000, 5,000, 3, 1, 1.5, 1 1.4, 1 1.7, and it jumped up here yesterday 
which was a, um, I think it was a Wednesday yesterday. It jumped up to 8,000 impressions because we're paying that extra bid. It works on a bidding system, okay? We got 455 clicks on our ads. That's a click-through rate of 5.66% and 15 installs. That cost us $14, okay? The install rate is not bad, actually. That's a 3.3% install rate. So that's when somebody clicks on the ad and decides to install it. Poker games, guys, it's hard to get downloads for. Um, we did a... Uh, advertisement for our Pop the Fruit 2 game as well, and that was much easier to get installs. But you can see here, even with paying $1 for an install, we don't get a huge amount of uh, installs, probably because it's the Amazon App Store and it's a little bit lower. But the Amazon App Store has a higher ARPU for us, average revenue per user. Let's check out Pocket Poker on UK, on the UK Amazon App Store. So Pocket Pop, uh, la, 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 la. let me find it. Pocket Poker Amazon UK campaign. There we go. And let's refresh this. I love uh, looking at these stats to see how we're going day to day. So yesterday, uh, I also increased this to $1. So you can see there, day before was 50 cents. That got 1,300 impressions, 1,400. Sorry, let me just turn that off. Uh, 1,400, 1, 4, 800, 500, 500, 400. Really low number of impressions. Not going to get a lot of installs. You can hear, you can see here, uh, we paid uh, 0.75 for one install there. So I was paying 75 cents, and I've now increased this to 1.1 dollars. 1.1 because I don't want people to advertisers to cut out us. Uh, because what they can do, advertisers, guys who show chart boost ads in their games to make money can say, hey, we don't want any ads to appear that pay less than $1, okay, or $1 or less. So that's why I put it to $1.1, okay, so that we weren't getting cut out. I might do this for the Amazon US campaign as well, just so that we're one cents above $1. But you can see here, 1,700 impressions, uh, 90 clicks, which is okay, 5.27 click-through rate. Uh, and three installs, which is a 3.33 install rate. Not bad. And that got us three installs on the UK App Store. Again, difficult to get installs on the UK App Store. It's not as big as the US, and it's a poker game as well. And just to give you some uh, perspective on the size of the market, Pocket Poker Australia campaign. We only did this one a couple of days ago. And you can see here, look at the how low the impressions are. 37, 33, 40, 41, 45 impressions, as opposed to 5,000 impressions. That's because the Australia uh, Amazon market is a lot smaller than the US and the UK, just because of their reach inside of Australia, but also because Australia only has 20 million people in it about. So it's a lot smaller market. Uh, I'll show you one more, guys. I don't want to make this video too long, but you can definitely catch me on the forum with any questions about this. And um, this is probably pretty boring for people who are doing development for the first time. Uh, this is definitely like a higher level uh, marketing video. Pop the fruit to, where are you? Ah, I can't find it. Sorry guys, um, I'm getting lost. I'm trying to look for my UK campaign. Uh, Amazon UK, Pop the Fruit 2, Amazon UK. This is the other one that we have live at the moment. Pop the Fruit 2 is a bubble shooter game. Uh, please check these games out as well, guys. Please support us. That that you know, just um, just making these videos. Um, you know, I'm trying to make my hair pretty. Doing these videos obviously um, is is a lot of fun, but it, it really super supports us if you do download the games that I'm mentioning and give us a rating. It really helps us a lot, and it kind of if you do that, please let me know in the comments in YouTube or on the channel. Uh, I don't reply to comments on YouTube anymore because of time, but I do read every one of them still. So really, they're not going unnoticed, guys, just so you know, but please download them. So Pocket Poker and Pop the Fruit 2. Um, and this is Pop the Fruit 2 in Amazon UK. There's the name of the campaign. I uh, didn't increase the install. In fact, I think I, it's 50 cents per install because the ARPU for Pop the Fruit 2 is a lot lower. Uh, but yesterday, we got about 4,700 impressions. Uh, the click-through rate was higher. A click-through rate is higher probably because, uh, you know, because it's a, a bubble shooter game and it's a more mass audience game rather than a poker game. You can see there's 6, 7, 6, 7, 6% uh, click-through rate. 
Uh, the installs are a bit lower though. We've got four, four installs, 1.24, 2.33, 2.912, 0.33. 2 so if the install rate is so low, that's because probably what's happening is when people land on our uh, Pop the Fruit 2 page on the Amazon App Store, they're not liking what they're seeing and they don't want to install it. Maybe we need to change the screenshots or we need to change the description, improve it anyway. So we spent $2 yesterday and got four installs for the UK. Uh, we're currently in position like 1,200 or 300 overall. Uh, not very good, but um, we'll see how this goes. We'll keep we'll keep this going anyway. Um, I think aside from that, I think that's all I wanted to mention in this video. I wanted to keep it kind of short. You know, we spent uh, $19 there yesterday, and that might jump up again. Uh, this is our total uh, balance. Like there, you go. The 74.32 is our total uh, advertising balance right now. And yeah, so anyway, I wanted to share that guys, just so you know, because a few of you had asked me about how you do paid installs or do you do paid installs or paid marketing? This is one of the things that we do. We only do it for games that have a good ARPU, average revenue per user, because if a game is not very good, doesn't have a good ARPU or retention, then you're kind of wasting money each time you pay for an install. Uh, Pop the Fruit 2 right now is actually a lower ARPU than what we're paying for installs. Uh, so I'm tracking to see how that goes. But Pocket Poker Game is a lot better than any other um, any of our other games right now because it's a poker game. So, and but let me know if you have any questions on this. That's Mickey, hello. Wanna say hi? No, oh, she's too shy. Okay, uh, but let me know if this video was useful, if you want me to talk a little bit more about paid advertising in mobile games. Uh, but please like, guys, please subscribe, and of course, please download those games. That's Pocket Poker on Amazon and Pop the Fruit 2 on Amazon and Google Play. Really supports us if you give a rating as well. Thank you so much for any support. And come and see me on howtomakemobilegames.com. Louis wants to say hello too. Yeah, come and see me on howtomakemobilegames.com, Louis. Okay, all right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. He's barking at some kids outside.